Hey, this is Alexey from Ace5 Studios, and I'm making a gender agnostic tutorial for Cinema 4D about symmetry. In Cinema 4D, symmetry has its problems. If you want this object to be symmetrical, you have to go to top view, you have to go to point mode, you have to delete half the points, you have to make a symmetry object, you have to put the object in the symmetry object and hope that you got the right plane, because if you got the wrong plane, then it won't work. And then you can start moving points around the symmetrical, but you can only move them on one side. R16, R17, you can move it on both sides, which is a step forward, but it's still problematic. And also if you select, for example, let's say these faces and press D, you'll get this unpleasant situation. Uh, so yeah, kind of annoying. The plugin that I'm about to show you is actually, let's just undo it back. It's much more neat, and it's existed for a long time, and people should really use it. So it's called True Symmetry. It's a tag. You just right-click on your object, you plug it in, you go Attributes, and you make sure you got the right plane, so you can pick which plane you want it to be symmetrical in. And then you tick Enable Symmetry, and untick Show Plane. And now you can use stuff like the Brush Tool, and it's all symmetrical, which is great. Or you can actually extrude a bunch of polys across an object because you can model on both sides without any weird flipping. And you can extrude in. Ta-da! Um, yeah, it's pretty much it there. That's the whole plugin. It's great. Uh, do be careful. On very rare occasions, if you try to apply symmetry to a model which is really not symmetrical, it can crash. But that's happened to me maybe twice in all my time using it. So there you go. Two minute gender agnostic tutorial about symmetry. Bam.